Welcome back YouTube. My name is Dennis Panyuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, we're going to have a look at the for loop. There are four types of loops, for, do while, while, and for each. And we're going to start with the for loop. So we use the word for, and then within brackets, we, we need to have three entries. Entry number one is our variable. That is our counter variable that we start with. Usually it's called i, for int i equals zero. Zero is the starting point of my counter. So in this case, we use the for loop for a counter. Then I need to have the comparison. So the condition pretty much, which needs to be true for this for loop to run. So as soon as this condition is not met anymore, the for loop will stop running. So for example, as long as i is lower than three. So that means in our case, it will run at zero, it will run at one, it will run at two, and then it will stop. So it will run three times this time. So this for loop will run three times. We will see what this what I mean by running. And then we need to say how big the steps should be for our i. So how, by how much do we want to increase or decrease our counter variable i? Okay, so we start with zero and we increase it with one after every execution of that for loop. Because that for loop, it starts off, so it checks, okay, int i, i am zero. Now it checks, is zero lower than three? Yes, it is. So let's run whatever is within the curly brackets. So let's say we simply debug, the number is plus i. So now it will execute that code and then it will increase i by one and it will check again. Is one lower than three? Yes, it is. Okay, let's run the code. Now it will increase i again. Now this two. So it will check. Is two lower than three? Yes, it is. All right, let's run the code again. And then after it has run the code again, it will check or it will increase i by one. So now it's three and it will check. Is three lower than three? No, it's not. All right, so my work is done here. I'm going on vacation. So that's what this for loop does then. That's what the general structure for a for loop is. So let's save that script and check it out. Let's go back to Unity, now run the code. And you can see the number is zero, the number is one, the number is three. And if I want to run this not three times, but let's say 10 times, then I enter 10 here. Now let's run it again. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. The number is zero, one, two, three, four, five, up to nine. So now it ran 10 times. That's why we start with zero and we end at nine. Now that is a very simple example where we simply return the number or we just write the number of our for loop. You could use that, for example, to check through a list that you have with all the game objects, which are, for example, enemies. And then you check, is this the enemy that has the ID, let's say five, and if it's the, the one with number five, then please destroy that game object. So this is, for example, what we could use for loops for. There are plenty of situations where we are going to use for loops. So I'd say let's go to the next video where we're going to have a look at while loops and where we'll do a similar thing with a while loop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, if you really love the content and you would like to have more of it or pretty much all of it, then of course, check out the link in the description to my whole course. See you in the next video.